Rabbi Shavu Tov, and welcome to the latest year. Today's year is going to focus on a topic that is a little bit uh, neglected in, in, in the in the Tzibur, in the Oilam. It, it, people don't want to talk about it. They, they feel uncomfortable. Talk of, and it's not a push topic. It's not a push topic, but it is extremely hush of topic. And people need to learn about this topic. And this topic, of course, is masturbation. There is so much that people don't know about the halacha regarding masturbation that it's mamish causes tremendous michshalos every day long. And that's why I have here my, my sefer. I'm going to be reading some halachas from my sefer that many people don't even know about. Okay, And, and to start, the general hakdama for this whole thing is that there is a right way to do it, a where, a when, and the kavanas to come along with it. So we'll start at the beginning. The first thing to do it is, is and many people get this wrong, is that you must do it with your right hand. With your right hand, I've heard I've heard stories of of Bachim masturbating with the left hand, and it's unheard of. It is mamish a bizayon. It's a bizayon to the entire situation. Okay, that's the most important thing, and I want to really drive that home. Then the next part is is when to do it, and and the truth is that any time is okay, but but the 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 the, the Kubalim talk about the importance of it being after chatzos. If you do it after chatzos. Or around Chatzos, in the middle of the night, that is a time that's especially Masugal, Masugal for, for masturbation. And where it should be done, again, you could pretty much do it everywhere, and many people do choose to do it everywhere. But one place that is really particularly recommended, according to the Sfarim, the Kedoshim, is, is Yeshiva. The Yeshiva is a place where you should do it because there's so much Torah learning happening all around. It's a logical extension of, of, of that same Mysin. You know, you're hacking, as it were, you know. Uh, but the most important thing that I'm really building up to here is the kavana that you need to have. The, 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 we all know, Chazal talk about this, it's Pashut, that, that the kavana that you have when you're doing a maisa completely influences the maisa. So what is the kavana that you should be having, having while masturbating? So there's really a hierarchy here, okay? The first and most important lofty one, the, the loftiest one that we can all aspire to be, even if we don't achieve perfection there, is obviously HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself. And so the ideal kavanah that you should have, the visualization you have while masturbating is HaKadosh Baruch Hu himself, you know, it's 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 Kodesh Okay, so if, if, if somebody can reach that level, that is obviously the best. The next level the, the, the Rabbanim talk about is... Uh, you should at least think of, of a Jewish woman if you're going to be thinking about a woman at all, okay? Because uh, because of the, the special Indian, okay? And and what what everybody agrees is is the worst level that one should really not be going to is, is thinking about goyim. But the goyish and noshim, it's not it's not appropriate for Ben Torah to be to be thinking about the goyim. So always again the hierarchy, the lowest level of course is goyim. The next level up is is is, is Jewish women, and then of course the shivis yeshem and tabid is the highest level of all. And there's actually some some people say some people say that there's an area in between of of thinking about your 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 rebbe, thinking about your. Uh, whoever is your, you, you know, the, the spiritual leader of the generation or the, the leader of your, your yeshiva, somebody that you hold as, as a gadol ha that you should envision him as a, as a key, as especially a Hasidic idea, to, as a key, as a gateway to, to a Kaddish Baruch himself. So keep all that in mind, you know, and, and we can all be mischazik regularly. Now, you might ask, you might ask, isn't it a completely awesome thing? We know it's it's the worst of era in the entire world, uh, masturbation, taka. And it's true, it's true. It is the worst of era in the world, except there's another era that is also the worst of era in the world. It is even worse. And that is having a, a bio with a Nida woman, you know. So so keep that in mind, that it's contradictory worse is in the world. Um and yet, and yet, and here it's very important to turn the book over and look at the notes on the other side, the, the, what we find is that, that the people who care about this mitzvah in particular tend to be Sephardi people or people who are into uh, Kabbalah. That's when they really, really get excited about masturbation. That's sort of how the chips fall. If you're, if you're a regular Ashkenazi, you go more for Nida as an Isser, and if you are a Makubal, especially if you have a very long beard and like really bushy eyebrows, that's when you really mach me on the whole uh, masturbation side of it all. 
But is there a way, I, I get asked this a lot, is there a way to avoid the entire Isser completely? And the answer is a very interesting halachic insight, approach. I, I don't want to say kula. I don't want to say kula because it's not a kula. It's mamish. It's, it's mekubal. And the the Achorinim really talk about this. And the idea is to get a vasectomy. Okay? And therefore, completely avoid the shvicha zer levatala. Ah, but you might ask if you get a vasectomy, then isn't that itself an isur of becoming uh, mesuros, so becoming infertile? And to that, the answer is yes. Therefore, the main approach to do it is to have a goy do the vasectomy for you. If a goy does the vasectomy, the iser is on him, and some say he doesn't even have an iser, and certainly as long as he's not a Jew, we don't really care, and therefore you can then masturbate to your heart's content, uh, with the right kavanas, obviously, and not be worried about shvichazel avatala. And some even go so far as to say that if the goy does the masturbation for you, it should have the same effect as the goy doing a vasectomy for you, and you really you end up being in the same uh, situation. So I want you guys to take this to heart and see what you can start incorporating in your own life and in, in your own personal growth, as it were. Uh, and, and I just want to warn you, this is very important. It shouldn't be disregarded. Don't make me come down there and do it for you. Okay? Shkoyach.